Here are some detailed instructions on how to construct the glass jar variable capacitor for high voltage applications on an MLA. And I've got this, um, as you can see, classic crunchy pickle jar, which had pickle relish in it. And the size of the jar, the markings are 22. It looks like a CP4. A 20 again. And an N19. So I've made the plates up that I'm going to use. This is galvanized roof flashing material that you can pick up at the uh, big box store. And I've uh, soldered on some uh, braid, copper braid. And if you notice, I've cut a taper in here to make it easier to tune. And the construction of the inner elements, you take the lid, and I've got a quarter dash 20 threaded rod and quarter dash 20 nuts. And to make a friction washer, I've double nutted the inside washer and used a rubber washer on the outside with another washer and two double nuts. I've also flattened the end of the uh, shaft. And I've sized the uh, rotor blade to fit the inside of the jar. And also the inner capacitive plate is curved to just snugly fit with a little bit of compression to the inside of the jar. And then I've soldered on another braid to connect to the loop. Here I'm starting the uh, construction of this uh, capacitor by inserting the inner plate through the neck of the jar. I've uh, completed the insertion of the uh, inner capacitor plate into the jar. And I've snugged up the lid pretty tight because I live in a high moisture uh, outside ambient uh, condition, so I want to keep uh, want to keep as much moisture out of the jar as I can. And uh, this type of a jar is is really good for sealing up. Now we're going to install the outer plate. And here I'm showing how I'm starting the um, securing of the outer plate to the capacitor, just with PVC electrical tape. And I'm using uh, two bands of um, electrical tape to secure the outer plate. Notice that I've put the connecting braids opposite each other so that they'll connect up to the loop uh, more directly. And I've checked rotation. And it's pretty smooth. So with the plates in the minimum capacity position, I'm showing about um, 15 picofarad.
now with the plates in the full capacity position, I'm showing about um, well, 52 picofarad. These meters aren't uh, super accurate. It's not laboratory quality equipment, but it gives you an idea of the range. And for my loop, which is um, a 40 inch, 7 8 inch Heliax loop, this is the ideal range for tuning 20 meters. And that's really all I'm interested in at this time is 20 meters. Good luck on your build.